Hi folks, welcome back to Meaningful Money. Okay, here I am on my uh, garden bench again. Been here before, episode 50, no, can't remember, back in July. Um, the reason I'm here is because I did intend to go out and do a few videos today. It's a, a beautiful Sunday uh, evening. The problem uh, is that uh, we've had a bit of a mouse problem in our house. So I've been uh, filling up every hole I can find on the perimeter and the inside of the house today. So time's rather got away from me. So here we are. Now, last time we um, introduced the, the four personal taxes, income tax, national insurance, capital gains tax and inheritance tax. What we need to do now is to go into detail as to how those work. Now we'll deal with income tax first uh, and that's almost certainly going to take us uh, a couple of videos because I want to give you some examples. So first things first, uh, income tax is levied, that means charged on your taxable income. What is your taxable income? Well, obviously it's your earnings if you're in a job. Uh, it's interest on any money you've got in the bank. It's dividends on any shares or uh, funds that you own. Uh, it's rental income if you own a property and rent it out. Uh, if perhaps you have uh, surrendered or matured a life assurance policy in the, the current year, that's called a chargeable uh, event, and that is also uh, taxable income. Um, so those are the, you know, the, the main uh, sources of income. We can take off that certain reliefs. The, the obvious one that springs to mind is if you've made any pension contributions. But we add it all up, basically all your income sources, and that is your taxable income. And it's on that that tax is paid, income tax is paid. Now, first thing to say is that everybody has something called a personal allowance. Now, this is an amount you can earn without paying any tax at all. If you're... Uh, on age less than 65, uh, the current figure is 6475. If you're uh, age 65 to 74, the figure is 9490. And if you're old, aged over 75, it's 9640. That's obviously the current figures in the UK tax year 2010 11. Um, and it changes uh, every year, or at least it usually does. So depending on how old you are, uh, that's an amount you can earn or receive an income without paying any income tax at all. Now, next thing to say is that uh, your income is taxed in order. And that starts with your earnings, and that includes rental income, surprisingly. And on top of that then is any interest you get from savings. And the last thing to be taxed is uh, dividends from shares. So your income is taxed in a kind of stack. Now what we need to do is to stack that income up and find out what rate each uh, bit of your income is taxed at. And to do that, I'm going to shift to this side of the bench so that I can put some graphics here. See, I do think of these things in advance. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we start at zero at the bottom and we add the personal allowance, which is 6475. We're going to go with somebody aged less than 65. On that then, the f above that then, is a f the first little band, but this only applies to savings interest, okay? And that first little band is 2,440 on top, or a total of 8,915, okay? So that's, that's a funny kind of sub-band, really, because it only applies to interest. So we're going to go uh, back to the top of the personal allowance and add a, a bigger band, and that's 37,400. And that is what we call the basic rate band. Um, and most of the income is taxed at that. Above 37,400, then we've got the higher rate band, and that goes all the way between there and 150,000. And then there's a sort of super tax rate above that. So those are our bands. Okay, we've got our personal allowance, our savings band, a starting rate, then the basic rate band, the higher rate, and then the super rate at the top. Now, let's assume that all you've got is earned income, all right? Let's say it's um, 45,000, all right? Well, you can see the first chunk of that will be tax-free, but because it's earnings, we can ignore the starter rate band. A big chunk of it is taxed at uh, what we call the basic rate. Now, with uh, earnings, that's 20%. Anything over then the, uh, the basic rate is it falls into the higher band, and that's at 40%. And if you're lucky enough to have income which goes all the way up past 150, you're going to pay 50% income tax on that. So that's income, that's earned income 
and how the rates that that is taxed. Now let's say you had about 150 million quid in the bank and you had some serious interest coming in. Well, uh, the first bit is tax free, just like normal, but then because it's savings interest, you get a 10% starting rate. Very confusing, I know. So above that then, you've got 20%, 40 and 50 at the top. Finally, dividends, if you apply that to our little ladder here, that's even weirder. Uh, obviously, you get, uh, in fact, you don't get a tax-free amount at all because dividends are deemed to be received, uh, paid at net of a 10% tax. Now, now I realise I'm really freaking you out. But basically, uh, if you are uh, receive dividends up to the higher rate band, you receive them having paid 10% on them. Anything over that, the total rate is 32 and a half. And anything over the top band of 150 is 42 and a half. But you've already paid 10%. So your, the actual amount that you would pay extra is 22 and a half and 32 and a half. Now, I realize that I've just completely freaked you out because that's a whole lot of percentages and numbers. So what I'm going to do in the next video is put some examples together. Um, hopefully real life examples. Okay, I'll use a couple of wacky ones as well, uh, just in case there's anybody watching this earning a quarter of a million quid a year. But I imagine most people are not. So we're going to use some real life examples for a combination of earned income, savings interest, and maybe some dividends on shares as well. So it's very, very much a whistle stop intro to um, income tax. I'll probably cover the, the bandings and everything again next time. Uh, but for now, from my back garden, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.